friendly even easier than any other candy I made before actually very similar to one of the candies I made I don't remember when anyways what we need unflavored gelatin um, in fact we're making uh, jelly strips sour jelly strips or gummy strips anyways you want to call them so we need to activate that unflavored gelatin with cold water of course cold water right? yeah cold water and just quickly mix and set aside and I need and you also need I need flavored jello to your preference any flavor you like we have raspberries here yeah, raspberries. yeah raspberries and we need to bring this to a boil we're adding some hot water that way it will yeah. boil much faster so we need this water <gasps> it turns red right yeah, because it's raspberry and just give it a quick mix and because it's a sour candy I'm adding some citric acid if you can't find citric acid uh, you can use fresh lemon juice or lime juice about a teaspoonful or so and again if you like more uh, sour add more citric acid so I'm just gonna quickly bring this to a boil and get back to you This has been boiling one to two minutes now and to this we're adding our unflavored and already active <laughs> active gelatin and Whoa. mix until it's all dissolved make sure the gelatin nicely dissolved no lumps or anything should be in that mixture no lumps yeah no lumps and just like, I'll leave this for a second we need one loaf pan and I have the biggest size not Mom. probably there Mom. is bigger size. Mom. This is 10 inch loaf Mom. pan. Huh. Uh, grapes. You want grapes? Hold on one second. <laughs> and you also need some of that um, baking spray or cooking spray. Very lightly. Like just prepare the pan. Very small amount of that oil. Just to make sure it doesn't stick. So this will probably mix another minute or so. Just want to make sure it's all melt it properly and this will of course go inside this pan and we're going to let this cool down to room temperature and if you're in a hurry you can place it in a fridge no need to freeze it it's been in my fridge for five minutes only it will still harden if you don't place it in the fridge so that's nothing necessary it sits pretty quickly because there is lots of gelatin in there and it comes out very easily what as is you that? may see what is it's that? a big gummy candy now i prepared some uh, sugar mixed with citric acid and i would suggest because when you uh, place this jelly, jelly candy in citric acid and um, sugar mixture it kind of um, uh, forms some liquid on top so usually I would suggest to just dip it and serve yourself it's enough no you can do that and then the teenagers will complain that my uh, little kid who's very annoying to your opinion and he's not you all were annoying at his age that always remember that okay so you can either dip it and eat like that or you can just eat it without sugar it's still sour so what we're gonna do is grab your pizza knife and as as long or as um, thin you where is it okay what is you want like, <laughs> what? that's a, that's a sour snake you can either uh, slice them in smaller or shorter yeah. and gummy uh, worm size or you can leave yeah, them gummy snake sugar, size right? you want to put it in the sugar yeah okay go ahead my little annoying child <laughs> okay this is it for our uh, sour um, strips or however you young people call these candies anyways i will leave detailed description um, in my website at helena.com the link for the recipe will be below the video any questions, comments, feel free. No mean comments. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.